This is the final, the fourth and final of this series of using the over up down table. We're going to put it all together with stretches, shrinks, and flips all in the same equation. Now just remember that these work for all graphs, uh, for any of these seven that I've shown you, or for things like uh, logarithmic graphs or sine and cosine graphs or things like that. They, it works the same for all of them. As a matter of fact, we can even look at it this way as sort of a generic graph. I started them all with y equals, just so that we're consistent, but that's also how you, you'd put it into your uh, graphing calculator too. And uh, so it could start with a plus or minus. It could have a number in front of the function, and it could have a number added or subtracted after the function. Anything like that in front of the function or after the function always works in the direction of that letter. So since we've solved for y, it's always going to work in the vertical or y direction, and it's going to tell the truth. So if this says I'm going to go up 3, it will go up 3. If this says I'm going to stretch uh, by a power of 5, it will stretch by a power of 5. Now, in with the x, you have to make sure that you factor out any number that's in front of the x, like I've done here. Everything lies. It go, x is in the horizontal direction, but if it says I'm subtracting 3 in the horizontal, it's really plus 3. It's really going in the positive 3 direction. If it says that I am shrinking by multiplying by 0.5 in with the x, it's really stretching by a factor of 2. So anything in brackets tell lies. So you'll see that idea coming up in the uh, next two examples. So here's example one. It's just a uh, y equals x squared or quadratic. It's being stretched by a factor of two in the y direction. And it's being slid minus three and minus four. But because the minus three is in the bracket, I have to take the opposite. It's going to stretch a slide to plus three in the x direction. So it's the opposite here, and I take the same here. So that's going to still go down 4. So what happens is I now have uh, my graph over here, and I merely go to a new starting point, which is uh, over 3 and down 4. Right here. Okay. It's done its job. It's done its job up here. These two things have now done their job by sliding the starting point. So I'm really left with this equation. y equals 2 x squared. So I'm just going to do a quick over up down table with uh, y equals 2 x squared. If I go over 1, I'm going to go up 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. If I go over 2, I'll go up 2 times 2 squared, which is 8. If I go up 3, it'll be 2 times 3 squared, which is 18. Remember, you square first, so that's 9, and 2 times 9 is 18. Over 4, 2 times 4 squared is 32. If I go over 0, 2 times 0 squared is 0. If I go to the left one, it's going to be 2 times negative 1 squared, which is still positive 1. I'm still going to be going up 2. If I go to the left 2, I'll still be going up 8. If I go to the left 3, negative 3 squared is all squared is 9. Two nines are 18. I'm still going up 18. And negative 4, I'll still go up 32. Okay, so here's what the graph looks like. I have a new starting point at 3 and negative 4. So if I go over 2, uh, sorry, over 1, I'm going to go up 2. If I go over 2, I'm going to go up 8. Okay, that's going to take me to, to uh, 4 here, since I'm starting at negative 4. If I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to go up 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And if I go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that takes me to 7. I'm going to go up 32, but 32 starting at negative 4 takes me all the way up to 28, way up there. If I go to the left 1, I'm going to go up 2. If I go to the left 2, I'm going to go up 8. If I go to the left 3, I'm going to go up 18. Remember, I'm starting at negative 4, 
So if I go up 18, that gives me an intersection of 14 there. And if I go to the left, uh, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to go all the way up to 28 again. Okay, here's what my graph looks like. I come barreling down like this. It curves through here, and it heads all the way up like this. Zap. And there is my graph. Quite easily done. QED. Now I'll finish off this whole series with one more example. Okay. The last example is uh, got a flip, a negative thing. It's a 0.5, so it's going to shrink. It's a 2 to the power, so we have an exponential equation. And that is going to be considered a bracket. If you put it into your graphing calculator, you'd have to do 2 to the power bracket, x plus y, uh, x plus 1 bracket. Okay, my new starting point. Take the opposite of that, which is negative 1, and take the same as that, which is plus 2. Anything outside doesn't lie. Anything in the bracket with the x does lie. Okay, now that the plus 1 and plus 2 have done the job, I'm left with just this equation, a negative 0.5 times 2 to the power x equation. Okay, so here is my quick over-up table, except you'll find it's an over-down table. Um, I'm going to go over 1 and down negative 0.5, 2 to the power 1, which is half of 1, takes me down to negative 1. If I go to the right 2, I'm going to be going down a half of 4, so I'm going to be going down 2. If I go over 3, I'll be going down a half of 2 to the power of 3, a half of 8, but I'm going to go down, so it'll be down negative 4. Negative 0.5 times 2 to the power of 0 is negative 0.5 times 1, but it's still negative. Okay, still going down. Here it's going to be a half of a half, which is a quarter, but it's a negative times a positive, so I'm going down a quarter. Here it's going to be a half of a quarter, so it's an eighth, but I'm going down an eighth, and a half of an eighth, and that takes me down to um, a sixteenth, etc. Okay. So uh, when I'm going to the left, I'm going to be down, be going down just a little bit. Okay. Let's put in our starting point of negative one and plus two. Okay. So everything is going to start from here. So this is my asymptote. Boom boom, 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 this green dashed line is going to be my asymptote. And you'll see how that works in a few seconds. Okay, at the starting point, go over 1, go down 1. Go over 2, 1, 2, go down 2. Go over 3, 1, 2, 3, go down 4. Go over 4, I'm going to go... One, two, three, four. I'm going to go down uh, eight. It's going to now start to go um, down faster. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Um, if I go over zero, it's going to go down a half. If I go to the left, uh, to the left one, it's going to go down a quarter. To the left 2, it'll go down an 8th. To the left 3, it'll go down a 16th, and so on. So what your graph ends up looking like is it's a flipped over exponential graph with a new starting point. And this gets, uh, becomes what we call an asymptote. It gets closer and closer and closer to that green line, but never touch. So when I started dating, my mother said, have an asymptotic relationship. Get close, but don't touch. So there we are. That's uh, the last of the series. I hope you've enjoyed it.